my friends there are many ways of remembering the values of sine cos and other trigonometric values corresponding to 0 30 45 60 and 90 but believe me i find this one to be the easiest one as practically you don't have to write anything down you just need your hand to remember all those values not even for sine and cos but for all the trigonometric values so without any further ado let's begin to start off with take your left hand with palm facing your face now here the little finger represents 0 degree the ring finger represents 30 degree the middle finger represents 45 degree the index finger represents 60 degree and the thumb represents 90 degree so let's start with finding sign values the memory trick is we always sign below whether it's a check or whether it's any document we always sign below here what it means is you need to count the number of fingers below take the square root of that and divide it by 2 let's say we need to find sign of 0 so as per our rule we need to find number of fingers below 0 now below little finger we don't have any fingers so the number of fingers is 0 and square root of 0 is 0 and 0 upon 2 will give you 0 so sign 0 is 0 let's find sign 30 now if you see below ring finger you have only one finger so square root of 1 will give you 1 and 1 upon 2 will give you half so sine 30 is half let's find sine 45 now below middle fingers there are two fingers so as per a formula sine 45 will be square root of 2 upon 2 so if you rationalize that that is if you multiply and divide by square root of 2 you will get 1 upon square root of 2 so sine 45 is 1 upon root 2 let's find sine 60 now if you see below index fingers there are three fingers so as per our formula sine 60 will be root 3 upon 2 let's find sine 90 below thumb you will see there are four fingers so as per our formula square root of 4 upon 2 will give you 2 upon 2 which happens to be 1 so sine 90 is 1 so sine 0 is 0 sine 30 is half sine 45 is 1 upon root 2 sine 60 is root 3 upon 2 and sine 90 is 1 likewise for cos the only difference is we are going to count the number of fingers above instead of counting it below so let's say if you want to find cos of 0 then what we do is we count the number of fingers above the little finger so square root of 4 upon 2 will give you 2 upon 2 which is 1 so cos 0 is 1 now let's find cos of 30 now you can see that above ring finger there are three fingers so according to our formula cos 30 will be root of 3 upon 2 now let's find out cos 45 so above middle finger there are two fingers so as per our formula cos 45 will be root 2 upon 2 and if we rationalize it we'll get 1 upon root 2 let's find cos 60 now above index finger there is only one finger so as per our formula cos 60 will be root of 1 upon 2 that will give us half now let's find out cos 90 now above thumb there are no fingers so cos of 90 will be root of 0 upon 2 now root of 0 is 0 and 0 upon 2 is 0 so cos of 90 is 0 now for tan we just flip our hand observe the little finger is 0 ring finger is 30 middle finger is 45 index finger is 60 and thumb is 90 same as the previous one we have just flipped it now the formula to find tan is very simple it's square root of the fingers above upon square root of the fingers below remember square root of the fingers above upon square root of the fingers below now let's find tan of zero now as per our formula we need to find number of fingers above little finger and also below little finger so above little finger you can see there are no fingers so number of fingers will be zero and below little finger there are four fingers so number of fingers is four so root of zero upon root of four will give you zero so tan of zero is zero 
Now let's find tan of 30. So as per the formula, we need to count number of fingers above ring finger and below ring finger. So above ring finger, we have one finger and below ring finger, we have three fingers. So root of one upon root of three will give you one upon root three. So tan 30 is one upon root three. Now let's find tan of 45. Now you can see above middle finger, we have two fingers and below middle finger, we have two fingers. So we'll get root of 2 upon root of 2 which is 1. Now let's find tan 60. So you can see above index finger we have 3 fingers and below we have 1 finger. So tan of 60 will be root of 3 upon root of 1 which will give us root 3. So tan of 60 is root 3. Now let's find tan of 90. Now you can see above thumb there are 4 fingers and below there are no fingers. So root of 4 upon root of 0 that will give us 2 upon 0. But you all know that if in the denominator we have 0 then that fraction is not defined. So tan of 90 comes out to be not defined. So my dear friend wasn't this so easy? Just using your hands you can find out sine, cos and tan and once you know sine, cos, tan it is